Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETL QA Labs. In this video, we will look at uh, uh, a very small topic that is related to insert, uh, you know, multiple records simultaneously, right, in Oracle table. So, uh, you know, we know that how to insert a single record, right, but uh, we have not seen yet how to insert a multiple record and this is... Uh, also, sometimes the interviewer might ask you just to check whether you are aware or not, right? So, it is a very small topic, then I thought I will cover it also. And after that, I will explain you also, you know, um, how we have written and what is what does it mean, right? So, let me show you first the table here, right? And guys, this is the question I think I have received it from uh, one of my subscribers. So, I thought I will, you know, make a video so that you all can get benefit out of it, right? So, we have this table, EMP table, and we have three columns, employee number, employee name, and department number, guys, okay? We do not have any rows here, right? So, let me do one thing. Let me insert one single record first, okay? Insert into EMP values, and then I will say, let's say 1, and uh, Tom, and then I will say 10, department number, right? So, then, guys, uh, okay, see, I have inserted one row now, right? Now, if I need to insert <coughs> multiple row in this case, what I have to do, guys, here for inserting a single record, we simply write insert into EMP and then write this. Eh? Because we are actually putting the value for all the columns, so we don't need to mention here, you know, the column name in employee. Okay. So, for example, if I need to insert, let's say, only employee number and employee name, we don't want to insert it department number, then we can write something like this, right? insert into EMP, then I have to specifically mention if we have to insert only few columns, right? So, EMP number and then I have to mention EMP name also here, right? And then I have to say values. Otherwise, it will say missing um, missing values, right? So, let's say 2 and uh, Tony, if I say here, it will insert perfectly, right? So, you see that? Tony does not have any department number, which means it is null, right? Let me put commit also, right? All right, guys. So, what I wanted to show you, how do we insert the multiple rows in a table? Now, we have inserted single, single record. Now, if I need to insert a multiple rows, then how do we do that, right? So, let me show you. So, I have to use, uh, just see that how I am doing it and later I will explain you, okay? So, to insert multiple rows, I have to use insert all guys okay and then in the next line i have to say into emp i am going to use uh, you know all the i am going to insert value in all the columns so i am not going to mention the here uh, the the column name right because i am going to use all so i i don't want to mention here don't need to mention even right values then i will say 3 and then i have to say ali all right okay i have to mention one okay department number 20 now one more i want insert into amp values i have to say guys four and here i have to say aman okay aman okay now let's say 30 i will say here okay guys one more i want to say insert into emp let's say i want to insert only EMP number and EMP name, only two columns, right? Third column I don't want to insert, okay? So, then in that case, I have to mention it here. And in here, I have to give, let's say, 5. And I have to say here, uh, Robert, all right? Robert, guys, okay? Now, guys, very important thing, okay? So, we have to mention all the values, all the, you know, separate, separate row for separate separate i mean separate separate uh, uh, statement for each of the row right here so in this case i'm going to insert three record three four and five okay this three three records i'm going to insert now very important thing it should be always be ending with a select statement okay select statement from select star from dual Dual is something system table, right? This is dummy table, guys, okay? But this is the syntax, basically. We have to use the syntax and we have to close this by semicolon because I, if I am putting the semicolon at the end of every statement, for example, here, 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 then what will happen? It will actually terminate the value. Uh, it, it will terminate here and it, it will give you error. That's why I am actually 
putting the semicolon at the end so that every I mean from here until here it will be one statement only for the oracle right that's the reason I'm terminating it with the semicolon at the end okay and this last line is very important and you have to mention all the time if you want to insert the multiple rows simultaneously in this case right so here select star from dual this is something that we have to write all the time okay and uh, this is from dual table dual means actually I'm not going to select it this is just a just a syntax basically for Oracle okay the, uh, to understand whether you know uh, this this makes this complete sentence okay uh, perfect okay so this is very important you have to mention all this okay now now let's try to hit the enter button okay see that three rows created guys now I have to say commit okay I'm going to commit now I'm going to display it select star from EMP you see guys we have inserted how many uh, three four and five okay so here is three here is four and here is five and five was basically five and Robert we did not have any uh, department number for this here you see that we have only inserted the employee number and employee name right so that's the reason there is no department number for this okay so hope you are able to understand it so this is how we can insert you know um, the multiple what do you say multiple rows together in in oracle right so this is what i wanted to cover guys okay and uh, hopefully you are able to understand it the important thing is we have to basically uh, end this insert statement by this select statement okay and this is this is very very important and that you should remember okay and uh, yeah that's all i think for this video guys and uh, hope that uh, your queries are clear from this and uh, you know you can answer this question if uh, at all you get this kind of uh, question in interview right so yeah that's all guys and uh, thank you thank you for watching and uh, one more request if you're liking my videos and you see that you know um, they are helpful for you to understand and grow your knowledge then uh, please uh, consider to subscribe my channel and uh, yeah until then happy learning god bless you bye